What's up, everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. Now, the NES had 716 total licensed games. With such a library, it's bound to have some titles that really didn't get the love they deserved. Everybody's list would be different, but here are the five games I personally didn't think got enough credit. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to see more videos like this. And let's jump into this. At number five, we have Gremlins 2, the new batch. So let's be honest here. Most games that were made based on movies usually sucked. However, there were a couple that held up quite well. Gremlins 2 was one of them. This game played and looked beautiful for an 8-bit game. Even the music hit the spot. Gizmo couldn't have looked any better while battling spiders, giant tomatoes, and of course, those pesky gremlins. If you've overlooked this game, I recommend giving it a try. At number four, we have Bionic Commando. One of the few games I actually like the NES version better than the arcade. The concept of the games are the same, but the NES level layouts were so much more enjoyable. None of this really surprised me though, coming from Capcom. Most games they make are nothing short of amazing. This game pulled me in from the very start, and every hour I spent playing it was well worth it. I recommend you give it a shot too. At number three, we have Life Force. Even if you're not into flying shooters, you are missing out big time if you've never played this game. Konami nailed it with this one for sure. The graphics were well ahead of its time. The final bosses at the end of each level are by far some of the best ever. And the soundtrack is unmatched by any other NES game. There have been many other flying shooters that have tried to match or replicate Life Force, but none have even come remotely close. So go play yourself some Life Force. At number two, we have Rygar. Now when you hear the word Tecmo, most immediately think of Tecmo Bowl. However, in 1986, they released this epic platform adventure. I personally think that this game was a huge influence for the creation of God of War years later. The story, the gameplay, the ability to pretty much free roam and backtrack were all ahead of its time. This game consumed so much of my time, I was shocked when I talked to other people who have never heard of this game. Rygar is a must play. At number one, we have Faxanadu. This game was my Zelda. The amount of detail, exploration, and building your character up for the final battles was incredible. I don't know if it was bad timing on its release or what, but Faxanadu never got the love it deserved at the time. It seemed as though it didn't get its recognition until well after the original NES was the past. Faxanadu is an unbelievable game and it still holds up well today. So thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and until the next video, game on!